This presentation, Managing a Work Surface Fire in a Ductless Fume Hood, is brought to you by Air Science. Fume hoods should not only protect the users from potential chemical contamination, but should also have inherent design features to protect against potential fire hazards created by processes in the biotechnology, life sciences, forensic, pharmaceutical industries, and more. Working with volatile chemicals and hazardous materials presents serious challenges. The fumes that emanate from these substances can be highly combustible. With the addition of heat sources, such as hot plates, Bunsen burners, and pyrophoric materials, these substances can increase the likelihood of a fire. Ductless fume hoods are designed to protect operators, the environment, and equipment from a variety of contaminants by providing continuous airflow across the work surface, drawing contamination away from the user and returning clean, filtered air back into your laboratory. Fire suppression systems, such as those offered by Air Science, can be included as an option for ductless fume hoods. Air Science ductless fume hoods offer either direct low pressure or indirect low pressure suppression solutions. In this video, we will demonstrate the automatic response of a direct low pressure fire suppression system, which uses polymer tubing to deliver fire suppression agent. An indirect low pressure system works the same way, but includes a manual release option for operator intervention in the event of a fire. The flexible polymer tubing is mounted above the work surface and configured to release an extinguishing agent once the temperature at any point in the tubing reaches 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The tubing provides 360 degrees of fire detection, allowing automatic release of a fire suppressing agent through nozzles placed in strategic internal locations. The extinguishing agent powder is stored at a pressure of 195 pounds per square inch in a canister mounted adjacent to the hood. A selection of dry powder extinguishing agents can be customized to suit your application. The system is pneumatic and does not require an electrical power source to operate. The extinguishing agent can be recharged as needed and should be monitored monthly via the installed pressure gauge to confirm that the tubing is pressurized. An inline pressure switch can also be installed for remote monitoring and alarms. In this example, a Pure Air Basic Model P10 is set up for an outdoor test at an independent testing facility. Watch as the technician ignites flammable liquid in two trays on the work surface. The airflow system continues to function as the flames grow hotter. When the tubing reaches a critical temperature, the tubing ruptures and releases the extinguishing agent to put out the fire. Notice that the airflow system continues to operate and draws smoke and extinguishing agent through the filter housing. In another example, the same Pure Air Basic Model P10 is used. A new fire suppression canister is charged and flexible tubing is rigged within the work area. Here a technician ignites a larger volume of flammable liquid. Once the tubing temperature reaches 375 degrees Fahrenheit, the extinguishing agent is released under pressure. With this suppression system, most fume hood fires are extinguished in 10 seconds or less. Ductless fume hoods recycle clean air back into the laboratory with carbon filter technology. Activated carbon filters are produced in two main styles, granular multilayer free fill and bonded filters. Granular multilayer carbon filters contain loose fill carbon media, layered to meet specific chemical filtration needs. Air Science does not use bonded carbon filters, which typically include flammable hydrocarbon binders that elevate the fire hazard. Bonded filters utilize various chemical processes to bond the carbon particles into a rigid matrix. Bonding agents that use a solvent-based substrate may ignite. Granular carbon filters can provide passive protection when it comes to extinguishing a fire and can assist in extinguishing flames in the fume hoods if the fire is intense enough to split open the carbon filter system. In this photo, an actual Air Science ductless fume hood is shown as is following an accidental fire at a K-12 school in Arizona while conducting an experiment using flammable materials. This fume hood fire suggests that carbon filters from Air Science can assist in extinguishing flames in the fume hoods if the fire is intense enough to split open the carbon filter system. Air Science Pure Air Series ductless fume hoods and chemical processing workstations are available in many sizes in metal or polypropylene construction. Metal fume hoods with a steel superstructure provides added strength. The steel support substructure will not collapse. It will support the weight of the head unit and carbon filters during a fire. Fume hoods can be constructed from a variety of materials, including acrylic and polypropylene, providing a surface that is extremely easy to clean and exceptionally resistant to corrosion. 
but even fire retardant versions of these units can still burn, weaken, and collapse. Air Science emphasizes that, while the Pure Air Series fume hoods are not rated for fire containment or suppression, in the event of an accident, the Pure Air fume hood has demonstrated the ability to endure a work surface fire without failure. Detecting a fire in its initial stages is critical in minimizing injury to personnel and damage to equipment and property. A metal substructure construction with fire suppression systems by Air Science helps detect and suppress fire on the work surface. Use of granular, multi-layer free fill carbon filters provide a supplemental method of fire extinguishing. Fire suppression systems can be customized to meet nearly any application.